you take it especially ic the the commercial i mean not the commercial common areas right uh, of the capital twin peaks i'm not sure about the other uh, projects of similar but i think this has a fairly very high uh, percentage of uh, common areas uh, so the even if the your unit your residential unit is could be two room three room and uh, you know limited area but you don't feel that you are in a limited area because you enter into a huge uh, very airy lobbies you don't go through small tunnels and then once you get into your floor uh, your floor lobbies are very big so when you get into your uh, common facilities area the areas that you get Uh, like swimming pool, gymnasium, spa, the children play areas. Then uh, you have conference areas. Those are huge compared to any other. Uh, so this is the difference. And if you go to the rooftop, and both the towers are connected by sky bridge. Probably it is the tallest sky bridge in the in the South Asia. So that uh, uh, the owner of a house. more than you buy your residential unit you buy the all these common areas so they are very comfortable with living there today especially the when you buy any uh, residential units in kalambu uh, most of the buyers uh, because you buy at a very high price because of your pay uh, paying for the land then also uh, uh, whatever the values goes gone into the project is finally end up with the buyer's price uh, so that uh, most of the buyers could be buying as an investment or some to live there right so then uh, uh, if you take it the investment is in a you your property your development in the commercial hub kalambu and it is this is the area where you get uh, altaya you get uh, uh, then uh, kalambu city center uh, empire city uh, trizen all these projects in the other side of the lake you get uh, cinnamon grand you know all these things are in this area i should say more than what is what you get in the gold road is in this particular area so that uh, uh, the people who wants to uh, rent it out especially the foreigners who like to be in a center they would definitely like this no capital at uh, impacts uh, uh, presently value on their uh, what is their inside is actually value and uh, uh, you add your overheads and you had the uh, decent and very reasonable profit margin uh, because uh, you don't try to make it a double profits for the developer and the contractor because all are in one group so it is a reasonable so final end product is definitely is worthwhile uh, than go and by on a you know splitted uh, project uh, organization i mean developer is a one person uh, contract is a one person design is a one person at every level you at uh, you they are overheads and profit so here is one so this is we are used to i can remember uh, about 30 40 years back sri lankan rupee must be about uh, 1.7 rupees so yeah go 50 years back today is 1 some say it is 210 rupees some say 240 50 so uh, this is nothing to do with the construction but it's the construction people always you pay about uh, 30 40 years back uh, uh, the worker salary is less than 10 rupees per day today is about uh, uh, 
2,000, 2,500 rupees a day. So this is the how you give value to material and the labor. So and the final end product is uh, end product is uh, valued based on this. But your question is exchange rate. Yes. Now if you take it for construction, uh, for the last in the construction industry, especially in the building sector. Um, nearly 70% is we are paying on the indirect expenses. Those are based on the foreign exchange expense. So now that is going up. So uh, if we have started the project about five years back with about 150, 160 rupees. So that is our cost in rupee value. And today, if you take it in the same project, if you are trying to do it in rupee value, the in rupee value, the value could be doubled or little more than that. I, I am because I, we can see what's happening now. Uh, but the, if you check it with the dollar rate and the rupee value that the Twin Peaks now selling is not doubled. But if uh, capital developers to capital, there's another capital Twin Peak going to be there in next year and going to be finishing four years. Definitely, it will be more than 100 percent. So it's like this. Actually, the presently the uh, these type of developments, or even much small scale development, uh, coming as a DOI approved project, where you get a wave of were uh, to uh, the respecting duties and taxes and all. In addition to that, uh, the, there is a uh, certain period that you get to drive off to your corporate taxes. So these are government support to, uh, uh, at the moment, to encourage these developments to take place. <coughs> but uh, uh, what I think is, it looks like that is not enough. There are, in addition to the government support, I think for the industry, I think they should uh, create a much quicker, uh, I mean, uh, statutory clearance process once an investor come to the country or the local investor going to invest. And once they decide which area, what development, uh, the mechanism should be at least within three months. Uh, to get the clearance, even uh, uh, the person president, His Excellency, the president, that uh, he wants to make it to three weeks, which is possible, and I'm very much for that. Uh, so that uh, if you can get, then you can call for more investors in this country. And then the second thing is uh, while bringing the investors. Uh, we have to see certain, uh, to encourage these people, certain discipline should be there at all levels. Then the investors will come. Then the people like to, not only investors, the, even the tourists, you know, foreigners, and uh, activities are very valuable so that we can get more people to come in. So, and last, the government, we were talking with the government as property developers, that uh, encourage those who come and invest uh, certain, you know, like uh, uh, permanent residence visas if you invest so much. And, you know, this encouragement, they were, uh, the authorities accept, but nothing has happened. But uh, fortunately, earlier, there was restrictions that the foreigners can buy only above fourth level. Now it's had been relaxed. So, uh, we must always inquire with the other countries, like all the countries like us. Because now earlier we were comparing with Singapore. No, you can't compare with Singapore. They have gone much and much. But we were comparing with the countries like Vietnam, Malaysia, all that. But now those countries also have gone. Now we must see the countries which we can compete with. So even what the Bangladesh is giving for the people come and invest. What's India giving is come and we must be in power with that. But by the time our people try to do it, 
the we are late the train gone so i suggest that uh, authorities must uh, see what are the other countries have given and what are the things they being given by the countries must enforce in sri lanka palambu land sale limited uh, the this uh, harbour city project is coming but it's not in the areas of where the uh, the kalambu city itself okay but the uh, harbour city uh, development will take a uh, few more years at least for the to uh, to totally complete it might take at least my judgment is at least 10 years okay but uh, Uh, the, where the capital twin peaks is there are no more lands right so the this area will be very important so that the value addition what we have done already will be very much get you know added up for the person buyers in time to come because there won't be any uh, new development because all the development in the area where the twin peaks are all recently done so that uh, uh, there's no time to demolish and cover because those are all new buildings so there's no space so that this will have a lot of value in the project